You're listening to the Daily Nugget at CNugget.com for April 24th. It's Paternal Wednesday. Yeah. We're still without Jen. Be praying for her. And uh, today, it's Paternal Wednesday. It is story time with Sam. Where she has <laughs> characters. I'm Andy. Janelle is here, and she's going to try to maybe perhaps pretend to be Jen. That's why she's rocking back and forth <laughs> yes. for our for audio our listeners. Audio <laughs> listeners, yes. And, and awesome producer Sam. You know, uh, just a little peek behind the curtain. We record these uh, one week at a time. And so sometimes I forget the things that we're calling back to. But I think at some point you had talked to a present you left for your parents. Yes. And, and now we're <laughs> now we're making good on that promise that Sam was going to talk about it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we mentioned it during the episode or during the episode or in the or between episodes. Oh. But um, either way, I did post a short version of it on my Instagram uh, a while ago. Uh, I didn't realize that it was going to cut off after one minute. So you, you get a real <laughs> cliffhanger. Um, it's almost better. Yeah, it is almost better. I had a couple of people text me and they're like, so what happened? So, um, yeah, so it's it's Paternal Wednesday. So um, and, you know, when you are an adult, you still should honor your parents. Mm-hmm. And it's in the uh, Bible, right? It it's is in, in the Bible. Bible. Mm-hmm. It is in the and Bible. Because your parents honor you. And my parents have always been so gracious to me. And while they were out on vacation uh, a couple months ago, they uh, my car needed to be looked at because it was making a lot of weird noises. So I took it in. And while they were gone, uh, I, I sent my mom uh, a text message Um a week in advance because I I couldn't get my car in for a week or whatever. And she finally got back to me. She said, sure, you can borrow my car because, you know, I needed a car to get my kids to school and back and my wife needed a car. So when I went there to pick it up that evening, I went up to my uh, mom's condo where she, mm-hmm. my mom and dad's condo where they live. And I had to go, I had, I had the call of nature. Okay, which happens. Uh, which it happens. No, oh and no. Janelle, Janelle understands was, that. Janelle is in touch with nature too. And and I was just like, oh man, I really gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it home in time. And then then it dawned on me, it was like, I'm in my parents' place. I'll just use the bathroom here. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And everything right. looks fine. Mm-hmm. So I the smell will be gone by the time they get home. Yes. Because oh. they're not gonna be home for a few days. Unless, oh, no. unless you go and drop a number two mm-hmm. <laughs> no. and all the water is off. Oh. <laughs> so Trouble. I, get, I get in, I do my thing, mm-hmm. clean up myself. Okay. And I Good. Thank you for specifying the toilet. <laughs> I push the toilet handle down and nothing happened. And then you just start jiggling it, right? Like, and, then, <laughs> and I was just like, "What is like, wrong if with you?" Do it faster. Something will happen. <laughs> yeah. So I pull. I, you know, I open the tank. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, there's no water in there." My dad must have turned the toilet water off. So I, um, go behind the toilet, mm-hmm. and then, um, go to turn the water on. And the handle breaks off in my hand. Oh, no. This is a classic disaster. And and then I was just like, well, crap. (laughs) Well, I'll just go get some water from a sink. Right, right. Dump it in the the toilet and Mm -hmm. just do it that way. So, you know, I I just finished my business. So I was I went to wash my hands, put some soap on my hands, get it all gone. Turn on the faucet and no water comes out. (laughs) This oh is my. turning into a, this feels like almost like if, if you watched uh, a, a a movie and this was some comedic scene, you would, <laughs> you'd be like, this would never actually happen. It, it was like Mr. B. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, crap. Well, maybe the whole bathroom is off. So I look under the thing. I was like, turn the things on. I was like, mm. oh, nothing's coming on. So I was just like, well, I'll just go get some water from the kitchen. I get to the kitchen and no water. Mm-hmm. I had realized at that moment that my dad had turned all the water off and I did, the, I did oh, not know where to turn it, turn it back on. Oh dear. So the present that I left for my parents in the bathroom, mm. I was, just, I, I, I kind of panicked 
And I said, mm-hmm. um, well. What do you do now? What, what do I do now? So. <laughs> I, <laughs> How? What did you do, Sam? My wife had dropped me off and I went and borrowed my mom's car. Uh, I, I found I found a towel to wipe my hands off, all the soap off my hands, because I, I, I at one point I did grab the knob and my hands were so slippery. I, could, oh. I was like, oh, no, that's right. And so I just leave. Right. And I think, <laughs> what do you do? There's nothing I'm else you can like, do. It's like my parents are coming back in three days. It's going to smell real bad. <laughs> Luckily. I found an empty gallon jug, a uh, milk jug, and I brought my parents' car back, and it was enough water to um, flush. Mm-hmm. But man, uh, that was that was a big moment of panic for me because I mm-hmm. thought, "Oh boy, what a moment that I have created for myself here." And of course, I took to social media to announce it because I have nothing better to do with my life. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? It worked out fine. Did I you mean, find your community of support, Sam? I, I, me too. <laughs> oh, I've, I found my my I'm friends. Not alone. Hilarious. <laughs> but man, I mean, oh. But, but okay, so what happened with the part that you broke? Oh yeah. So <laughs> after my dad got home, and I was just like, my parents got home on uh, I think it was like Sunday or Monday, and I called my mom super sheepish, and was like, "Hey, mom." So, uh, just to let you know, I tried to turn the water on uh, behind the toilet, and I mm-hmm. broke the knob off. And she goes, "Oh, your father hasn't found it yet. Otherwise, I would have heard about it." <laughs> um, and <laughs> oddly enough, my dad watches the show. So, uh, oh, really, hi, Sam's dad. dad. Um, <laughs> and I was, I just felt so bad because. Uh, I, I, I thought I had busted the entire plumbing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a handy person. No. So did they uh, ever explain why? Okay. So your parents live, it's not like they live in an old house. No, they live in a condo. I, I, I can understand if you've left and you're turning off the water cause you've left it and you're in a house that's old and you know, we live in yeah. Minnesota and, and the pipes could freeze, mm-hmm. but they're in a, a newer condo. Yep. They are. My dad likes to be prepared. <laughs> For what? Apparently, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But um, yeah, I, I had no idea that was coming. Apparently, so he didn't odd. prepare for every possibility. <laughs> Good His point, Andy. Not coming up and <laughs> dropping a deuce in his toilet. And I'm just not saying. Knowing what's happening. I'm just um, saying. <laughs> expect um, the unexpected. Mm. Oh, and I am the unexpected. <laughs> that's the name of the title and that or the show. And that's the nugget. There you go. That's the title. Boom. Nugget hate mail at gmail.com. If you've had uh escapade like Sam's. Have you ever done anything oh. as an adult? <laughs> to I, your did something, home? <laughs> I, I, I had a horrible bathroom experience when I was uh, an early teenager. Oh, boy. I can't. I... Save it for another Andy. Yep. Save it. Save it.